Hello everybody, my name is Zed, and welcome back to Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2. I just woke up, so I'm going to be sounding a little bit groggy for a while. I don't know what prompted me to wake up so early to get started, but... Actually, no, I wanted to play more Space Marine. So, yeah. Oh yeah, it started me back before. Oh, there he is. Oh, yep. And I were just oh, I gotta listen to the whole spiel again. Okay, give me a second, Galio. folks. Okay, I remember now. We rescued Lewis from the uh, from the planet we were on from the forces of chaos. Okay, so it did save my loadout from last time, which is good. Let's make haste towards the launch bay and head over to the next mission. Which I think was sending a, a box over to uh, Lord What's-His-Name. Good morning, brothers. Lieutenant, the squad is ready. We are yours to command, Lieutenant. The astropathic relay on Avarax is under direct assault. If it falls, so do our hopes of reinforcement. We will engage in a three-point operation to break the Xenos command, restore Vox, and secure the relay. We will not fail you. Not one of us can afford to fail this day. Prepare for deployment. I will transmit mission details on descent. Sounds like we're all ready. We all gonna make sure that the relay is in good condition to send the box we need. Got it. And away we go. Lord Calgar, that's his name. Okay. So one of my friends has informed me about a little bit of the anatomy of an ultramarine or just the space marines in general and while this game has confirmed to me about how the bodies of an ultramarine are just absolute monsters i was unaware about the inner workings of one like the second heart uh what else there was something that's put into the back of their throat allows them to spit acid, which I was completely unaware of. Approaching drone, sir. Prepare for landing. Lieutenant, it should be us facing the Hive Tyrant. Talasa can handle it. They have three men. We should be with them, but you have us playing courier. That message has to get through. And what exactly is that message? Speak your mind, brother. I searched the archives. You were once captain of the second company, and then you disappeared over a century ago. I was serving with the Death Watch. Records. Not for a black shield. A black shield? You would erase your chapter markings. I would die for these colors. Then why? I was accused. It was my penance. What were you accused of? Corruption. Brace for landing. Right, cuz... Delta Wing, box check. Meridian here. Still on our gunship. Thalassa has landed. 
and soon a tyrant will fall. Acknowledged. Proceeding to relay. Maintain box reports. Damocles out. Right, because, um... Uh, what was it? Something about Titus being mostly unaffected by the forces of chaos back on... The Astropath Relay is four miles from here. Expect heavy Tyranid presence. What of the arch enemy? Sporadic reports, but they are here. Man, I feel like I should have been writing down notes because I cannot for the life of me remember a lot of the names. But back on the planet with the orcs. Good talk. Well, like I said, I should have been taking notes so I can remember the names of everything. Oh, some big shells. Or casings. Alright, you guys ready? We're gonna have a good fight. Straight up execu execution, huh? Well done. It is nice that there is a lot going on in this game that isn't just straight up action. How we're getting a little bit more story going on within the universe. How we're just getting a little bit of story going out through the uh, through the universe. Excuse us. It is nice and adds. It definitely adds more character to this game than it did the first one. Like yeah, we did get some cutscenes talking with some of the other NPCs, but there really is just a lot more world building in this one. Counter chaos forces. You need not concern yourself with me, Lieutenant. Disappear like that again, and you'll be facing the Master of the Watch. I understand. Sir, why did you not tell us of your penance earlier? It was not your business. And now it is. You have made it so. Through suspicion and intrigue. What do we got? Marksman, grenade launcher, plasma. No, I chose one that close range, high powered thermal weapon. They will not get past this. Okay, it is a heavy weapon, so I get to carry this one along with my other two. Open the gates. They're jammed, my lord. Damage from the last attack. God, you guys are wimps. Hold on, let me help. Stand aside. I'm 
See? Feel the gates behind us. Yes, my lord. Close the gates. The relay is ahead through the arch. Sports. Engage. Oh, crap. Here they come. Provide cover. We've got this. Damn, this thing is powerful. Oh. Oh, here we go. We got some guys over here. All right, out of ammo. Get over here. It's too early for your nonsense. Oh, crap. Oh, I see you over there. Whoever shot me, thank you for moving me forward. Hold. Thank you. <laughs> Who's left? Is that it? The spores collapsed the bridge. There's no way through. I may have an alternate route. Proceed. Transmit into all specs now. We'll need to clear this debris. Hmm. Okay. Just let me grab some ammo real quick. Restocking. Is... Oh, oh no. They got slaughtered. Oh yeah, all the... All those guys got slaughtered real bad. God, what would it take to get a statue of that in my place? The path is clear. There goes the bell. Keep up the good worker up there. Hold the line, we got this. Rejected. Here they come. You know, running them over works well too. You're doing a great job out here today. I think we found our exit. Which hammered? I wonder if we have to go in there and help them kill the hive mind. 
because it would be a shame not to be able to fight something. Fight something so big. I wonder if it's only like support classes that get one of those, um, one of those scanning grenades. Because as far as I can tell, I haven't found any of those yet. If we're able to use them. Wow, these Tyranids. Here, hold on, let me help. Oh, hold on, where's, uh, what was the grenade button again? Here. Good. Oh, down? Good. Not gonna bother. I needed that. Man, there's just none of them left. God, it's like a horde of wasps. Nothing yet. The door is inoperative. Is there an alternate route? Yes, but it would add considerable time. Then we must find the power and restore it. Yes, sir. That's uh, a bunch of dead Tyranids. Oh wait, I was supposed to go this way. Spore mines. Ooh, thank you. A boon that thrums with promise. Your death will not be in vain. Crack grenades, yes please. Melt a bomb. Eh. I'll have to find a better use for that melt a bomb. So I think last time I used it, it only killed a. Uh, a considerable amount. We have power. Open the door. Dropping down. Did I want to switch my weapons? Incoming mines. Marksman? Maybe? Stalker. Melta. This will serve me well. Switch to the marksman for a bit. Oh! Good thing I came this way. Record. Declare evidence. Crates found in sector 55 of the upper hive contain 12 volumes of dubiously heretical works. Also recovered. 14 cantrail type las rifles. 8 las pistols, various designs. The serial numbers are filed off. Heretical symbols are applied to the surface of the weapons. I am enclosing pits supporting the evidence. Evidence to be destroyed in accordance with invasion protocols. Traces of the cult indicate that it has long since taken root in the hive. The mere thought that he has reached the highest levels turns my stomach. These officials, bureaucrats, and politicians are so mired in their intrigues that they warned and nurtured the roots of heresy within their walls. Well. The fire of retribution is already consuming them. The punishment of the Emperor is inevitable. End of record. Hmm. Okay. Jesus Christ. Okay, wait, hold on. You. 
Oh, wow. They got the... Okay, I can tell which one has the uh, Melto weaponry. No, I didn't mean to push the uh, that button. No. It's just like confetti everywhere. To stop us. To all appearances, yes. Elaborate. The traitor legion's legacy of deception goes back ten thousand years. They are masters of it. They are clearly here to stop Aurora. I am not convinced. There is more to this, I am sure of it. Their motives matter not. I will kill them just the same. Sure thing, Charon. Grenade. Damn it, I forgot. Nicely done. That hurt. Thank you, Stim. Why did I do that? What? I knew he was going to shoot. Why didn't I roll? Oh, friendly fire. Glad you guys can hurt each other. Maybe the marksman carbine was not the best idea. I'll have to see to swapping this out when I can. Munition secured. Ooh, big cannon. Ooh, nice. Heresy and corruption. The Tyranids seek to consume that as well. They kill each other, all the better. Because, yeah, if we got two of these enemies fighting each other, we won't have to worry about cleaning them up as much as ourselves. I see. Oh, these are some chunky boys. Oh, that's why. Yeah, he's got a he's got a big gun. Yeah, they are definitely the heavy artillery. Stay right there. Why do I feel like there's some sort of Egyptian theme to the uh, Chaos Legion? Maybe it's just me, but that's... With the armor and the weaponry they've got, it just... I don't know. It, it's got an Egyptian theme to me. Also, is there... I really need to find a different weapon. This marksman carbine is not the best for this situation. If we were fighting just Tyranids, yeah, but no, we're up against the uh, chaos. We should turn around and regroup with the main force. Titus to Resilient. Requesting Gamma Patton Hammerfall Bunker on my location immediately. You need to jump. Request confirmed. Stand by. 
There's our entry. That's quite a shot. Damocles to Talassa. Report. If Talassa fails to take out the Hive Tyrant, then our little excursion was all for naught. with the main force. Why toil in obscurity when there's glory center stage? Hey, Sergeant. Our brothers are dying while we sneak around in the shadows. If we fail to send this message, we face a massacre. Lieutenant said it himself. There's deception at work. If you got something to say, Sergeant. Drill, you're not thinking straight. I can say the same as you. Damage, you are an ultramarine. Now act like one. Yes, Lord. I'm kind of sad we didn't get to play through that section. But something I wanted to say is that Gadriel's pulling a Charon. But with Tyranids. At least we do have the jump packs. Oh, it uh, re equipped me with the uh, chain sword. I just noticed that since I have the jump pack, it still allows me to use my primary weapon. Whereas in um, the first game, you're only using your. A uh, melee weapon and sidearm. A fine gift from the forge. It is nice that the jump pack does not limit me from using my primary weapon. Or limit my primary weapon out. Alright. There we go. 
Keep up the good work. Oh god. Everyone's dying. I gotta remember that I can float in the air for a bit while I shoot. Oh, you guys are good. Coming down. The chainsword is still fun. Oh, you got him. You cut out. Repeat. Talasa. So of our three objectives, none have been achieved. No going back now. Listen, it's all or nothing. Now where do we go? Jump back in game. Just really turning into a shit show over here. Get out of the way, I don't want to shoot you. Yet. Oh, wait, no, that's not it. Hold on. God, I meant to jump. Hold on. I'm coming. I still got it. Jump down, jump down. There we go. Got to take the high ground enemies. Ow. Oh, for God's sake, just... There, I'm not even gonna bother flying to that one. All right, you guys got any spare ammo boxes I could use? Not seeing any. Oh, here we go. I want my instigator back. Is that a train? Looks like a little train. That's cool. John Pikes are struggling with all this dust. Oh, and then is an ammo cache right here. We're just gonna have to drop our jump packs. Jump back bound with dust. We must proceed on foot. Aw oh, man. The enemy have breached our lines. Talasa has failed. Lieutenant, what are your orders? We fight! At last. Hey, when all else fails, just kill. Nice try. Not. Let me just... 
Clear these guys out. Gross. Yeah, this melted gun has a very short range to it. Did I get him? Now I got him. Ow. Okay, maybe that was overkill for just one. No matter what happens, there's no such thing as an overkill against these guys. I dropped it. Hold on. Let us get to work. Oop. Hey, guess what? Gotcha. Hold on. I gotta get close enough to this one. Good enough. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Psychers are overrated. I see that health bar. There it is. Yeah, I really wish I would have kept the uh, melted gun now. No, I saw that. Get out of here. Where's the Carnifax? I'm remembering the fight with the Carnifax we had back at the very beginning of the game. And I'm wondering if it is possible to fight that thing to the death. But probably not. Considering how long it would take with your setup. Or loadout. And how it is a, a scripted event. To lose. Uh oh. Ammo cache, thank you. Oop, that looks like a melted bomb. Just gonna go ahead and drop this. Drop, drop. Oh! Ooh, ooh, oh, oh, oh. No, I got it. Thank you. Nice. Yeah, that melt bomb is definitely for any of the boss enemies. You are annoying. Okay, reload, reload, reload. Oh, can I get a... Oh, I... I waited too long to shoot. Oh my god, they're so... Thank you. Yeah, this fight's just taking a while. Okay, good. He staggered. Yeah, not this time. Xenos heavy armor eliminated. I'm thankful there are no QTE event or yeah, QTEs to taking down big enemies like that. It's just get up close and kill. You have got to be kidding me. Shh. 
shit. There are... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, there are three of them. Synaptic link. The turmoil you now see among the enemy can mean only one thing. The hive tyrant is dead. Viridian here. If you can hear this, Damocles, we've got the bastards. Excellent work, brother. Any contact with Talassa? Talassa to Damocles. The alien contaminates our world no longer. Lieutenant Titus to relay. Area secure. Open the gates. Damn. I was worried there. I thought we were going to have to fight three of those Carnifaxes. I wouldn't put it against this game to force us to do that. But yeah, that would... Oh god, that would be horrific. The Emperor protects. All right, so I guess we're done with the Tyranids for a while? Or for good? Because, I mean, if we have to go up against the forces of chaos just for the rest of the game, I'm not going to complain. I brought a barrel with us. Is that okay? Okay. Well fought, brothers. I will make sure the captain hears of your deeds. I need no commendation. <laughs> Is that right? Enough. Lieutenant, upon completion of this mission, I request transfer to another squad. I will pass your request to the captain. What are you saying? You're done with my shit? I'm kind of hoping I don't have to deal with it anymore, Gadriel. I heard they turned you into soup. Is that true? Oh, that's right. Yeah, the jump pack gave me my chain sword. It is a nice chain sword. Guess we can get a little bit of a breather. What do we have here? I like the heavy. A fine gift from the forge. Oh. Wait. Wait a minute. That I don't remember the jump pack also giving me my bolt pistol back. I got the feeling the forces of chaos aren't gonna let us go easy. Can we at least get the message sent before we fight? What the hell? You shouldn't be here. I have a message from Marius Kalgar. It's urgent. In addition to the shadow cast in the warp by the Tyranids, demonic forces are now poised to attack anyone who opens their minds to the warp. You would flee from your duty. I would have you know. 
Uh oh. Give me your message. Let us begin. My lady, I must protest. The danger is too great. Silence. There are no guarantees. Oh shit. We screwed up big time.
Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, Titus says history is coming back to haunt him. Oh, whoops, didn't mean to kill him so quick. Oh, he's not shielded. Well, here at least. Now he is. Okay, the crack grenade does a lot of good damage. Yeah, Irmora is not going to go down that easily. Come on. Oh, here we go. Good, 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 good. I needed this. Or quick shield recharge is all I need. Yeah, I have no idea if I, how to dodge all that aside from rolling. Okay, he's almost down. Oh, oh no. Oh, I can shoot him. Nice. Oh, ah, oh, it's too slow. Nope. Shoot him. There we go. Yeah, I gotta keep remembering to do that shot every time he uh, does that. Got a Dark Souls this fight. I am starting to lo run low on ammo, guys. Oh, crack shot. Dark Souls roll. That's what I'm talking about. Oh god, can we even kill him? Did he escape? I don't know. Lieutenant Titus, come in. This is Titus. Chaos forces have been detected entering the system. They are going after Aurora. We are leaving for Demerium immediately. How did you know? I was a boy on Kalf when the word bearers attacked. I came to know the mark of chaos. We're returning to the battle barge. I understand your actions, but your suspicions end here. Are we clear? Yes, sir. All that's left now is chaos. I gotta say, this has got to be an awkward ride back to the barge. This 
is Aurora. Within the last few hours, traitor forces have arrived in their hundreds and commandeered the facility. Commandeered? Where is Luz? Same. They have the facility, Luz, and the power source. Holy terror. Perhaps you were right, Titus. What's our theoretical? We've diverted all available forces to the Merriam, but we're well below full strength. We've prepared an assault, but it has little chance of success, unless we take care of this. They're using it to draw in reinforcements. For every one of them we kill, two more show up in their place. It's heavily guarded. I'll need a combat squad, five men. I can spare three men. Next. The enemy seem to be drawing their power from this structure. What is it? We don't know. Every attempt to bring it down has failed. Your squad has developed a reputation for unconventional approaches. Any ideas? Uh... I've read of Demerian. It's a burial world. 4,000 years ago, there was a clash between the Ultramarines and the Heretics. The Sword of Atreus, a battle barge wrecked in the fighting, was laid to rest here, whatever. Records state that while its body was ruined, its engines burned bright, even as it was interred. It may not fly, but it might ram. A long shot to say the least. Worth a try. Very well then. Navigation systems are probably dead. We can't afford to miss. He's right. Someone will need to get close to the target and place a beacon. Our offensive launches in 90 minutes. The Emperor guide you, brothers. And you, sir. Lieutenant Titus, see me on the crew deck at once. As you wish, Chaplain. Ensure brothers Chiron and Gadriel are in attendance. I got a feeling we're going to be scolded for our actions. Alright. Might as well talk with uh, the chaplain. I want to say we're getting closer to the end, but I don't know how much longer we have before... Uh... Yeah, before the end. I would say it using an ancient battle barge as a battering ram an unorthodox approach you disapprove on the contrary it is inspired thinking i reluctantly second that why reluctantly because it will go to your head yeah 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 whatever i'm gonna i'm just, like i'm trying to think I don't know how many more missions we have left. I want to say like one or two. Because like I wouldn't think that the story mode for this game would be too long. Like the story in the first game, it wasn't that long at all. It took me like maybe six hours. So yeah, we'll just have to wait and see what comes up after this. Chaplain. Titus, I am troubled by a report I have received from the Astro Telepathica. An accusation of heresy. Her voice was puppeted by a the lieutenant will answer. The psycho was possessed. Your sergeant believed otherwise. I was mistaken. You attempted to incapacitate your lieutenant. Thank the Emperor, I failed. And now. The only individual capable of reaching Lord Kalgar is dead. By your hands. I will be watching all of you. Should I suspect even a flicker of corruption, I will not hesitate as you did. You are dismissed. Look, if I'm going to die by anyone, I'd rather be... 
Time to go. As I was saying, if I'm going to die by anyone, I'd rather get killed by the chaplain. I'm kind of thinking that this next mission might be our last one. Maybe. Again, I'm not entirely sure. Because, I mean, the main story might be short. The enemy have amassed the majority of their forces in the Numerellian Basin. Thalassa has the warp beacon. Viridian is hoping for a miracle. The rest of us will move to clear the reliquaries around the basin and establish a beachhead. We are facing overwhelming enemy numbers on Demerium. But the heretic filth down there have stirred the wrath of the second company. We will inflict upon the traitors such agony, the likes of which they have not seen since the burning of Prospero. They will suffer, they will break, and they will fall. Sons of Gilliman, for the glory of Ultramar! For the glory of Ultramar! I get the feeling we're reaching the end game of this. Um, I lost my train of thought by these guys. Lieutenant Titus, blessings of the Omnissire upon you. Galio, theoretically, Catacticus armor would stand a suborbital drop. Gravis is too cumbersome for our needs. Negative. Extreme risk. Dense debris fields litter the entry flight path. But if we avoid the debris, could we survive the descent? Calculating. Survival probability equal to 62.4136. Unacceptably low. Thank you, Galio. Better than nothing. Also... An orbital drop without Gravis on. It is a sound strategy. With a 38% failure rate, we are facing much less favorable odds today. Yeah, see, we have more than half a chance to survive. But also, no... No melee weapon? Okay. What is it I want to go down with? It's hard... It's kind of hard to say. I mean, I could just continue with the Instigator Bolt Carbine. That's that's a good option. The Heavy Bolt Rifle is a good choice, too, just because it is... It does have power to, uh, to it. I haven't used the regular Bolt Rifle in a while. Yeah, let's change it up a bit. Bolt Pistol, no thanks. Give me the Heavy. And then no... No Sword. Okay, cool. And I can't change anyone else's appearance except for Titus. Maybe I'm missing something, but I don't know. Alright, war gear is loaded up. I wanna... I wanna take a look at this. This system is awash in alien and demonic filth. Better it burn than we wade through it. The Adeptus Mechanicus would prefer that not be standard protocol. We could deal the Tyranids and the Thousand Suns heavy losses. There is much sacred data in what you would want to be eradicate. Perhaps, but we do not want to waste our military muscle. Look how many units we're calling to serve. It is not wasteful. It is necessary. This dreadnought has not seen battle in 50 years. It really is just nerds and jocks. Like, yeah, the jocks do have some knowledge about this, but it's the nerds here who hold all the data. Alright, so I think I'll call it here for today. And I'm probably going to be picking up our next possibly final mission like almost immediately after this because if this is the last I want to see through and I don't want to wait 
Also, the game, at least for me, is starting to fall apart in terms of frame rate. Because like that cutscene heading back into, uh, what is it, that little command center? Yeah, it froze up on me for a second. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, my PC needs an upgrade at some point. Hopefully it wouldn't cost me too much, maybe a couple hundred bucks. I did manage to find a CPU and a GPU that I could use. So, yeah. So, next time might be the last time. I'm not sure that when I finish the main mission, if I'll be doing the side stuff. I'll probably be doing that for myself and maybe with some friends. But all I want to focus on is the main mission. I know there are more people out there who are going to be thorough with this game. And you know what? They probably have more info on Warhammer 40k lore than I do. So for me, it's just the main mission. Alright. So, with that, thank you all for watching. And I will catch you guys later. Bye.